so that's why um, the lighting is all yellow. But this is an unboxing of the LG V30. So this is a pre-production unit. So I'm not sure if this is how the final retail packaging will look, but okay. So that's interesting. So this phone comes with a cloth apparently, which is a first for LG. I don't remember previous LG phones coming with a cloth. So here it is. The wow, look at the LG V30. So let's power this thing on. Oh, it's a V30 plus. So this is a six inch AMOLED display. And I guess this is purple. I'm not a fan of the color. I like the, the black and blue one better, but it's fine. It is what it is. So, <clears throat> so here you will see a SIM, a SIM ejector tool, USB-C cable, a fast charging plug. This is the Korean leg, also European. And I think this is the Bang and Olsen. Oh, okay, nice. So these are earbuds by Bang and Olsen, apparently. Okay, so the look and feel is quite similar to the LG V20's earbuds. Pretty nice. And it comes with extra foam tips. And here is a USB-A to USB-C adapter. And this is, um, this is that thing that that you plug in to transfer data from one Android phone to another. This packaging is it's um, more than what LG usually provides because I know for the G6 you don't get earbuds nor do you get one of these. So is there anything else? Nope, that's it. So pretty pretty uh, standard packaging, not as fun as like the Meiji Pro 7 Plus or a Huawei device, but um, let's check out the phone. Okay, actually, I'm going to play around with the phone for a bit, and then I'll be back with a hands-on. Okay, so I played with the V30 for about 5 hours now. Um, let's talk about hardware first. So you have a Snapdragon 835 underneath, uh, the back, you know, fingerprint reader, dual camera, 16 megapixel and 13 megapixel, and uh, volume rockers on the left side, and otherwise the phone is pretty clean. There, there's nothing on the right side, just a SIM tray. Even though the V30 has a smaller screen than the S8 Plus, it's a little bit wider, but luckily there's a one-hand mode. So the second screen, which was a trademark of the V10 and V20 is gone. In its place, you have a floating bar, which still resembles the second screen. As you can see, you can still get into app shortcuts and also um, do screenshot shortcuts right there. A feature that LG no doubt got from Samsung is the GIF creator. So you access it by pulling it from the secondary floating screen. And from here, you can record a portion of your screen as a GIF. So the V30 finally makes the jump to OLED displays, which is um, a long time coming because LG is actually the world leader in OLED panels. So um, take a look for yourself. The screen is beautiful. Colors are vibrant. And LG tells me that we can expect all future LG flagship phones to use OLED displays from now on. The V30 improves on the wide-angle lens of previous LG phones by removing that fisheye distortion. It looks a lot more natural now. And of course, you still have manual control, so you have you get to control white balance, manual focus, and all of that. My favorite feature is the point and zoom. What it is is basically you can pick a portion of the frame and zoom into that. The phone will lock into it. So that means you can zoom into parts of the phone that's off-center. You can't do that with any other phone, but with Samsung, if you want to zoom into the statue, you have to center the frame first because it only zooms in one way. So overall, the V30 is looking like a powerhouse of a phone. The 6-inch OLED display is beautiful. The back feels pretty nice in the hand. The phone is sleek and it's IP68 water and dust resistant. Now, I don't have pricing information yet, but I'm guessing it'll be around the 750 range US dollars. So this is a flagship phone. I will have a more in-depth review to see if it's worth purchasing. Thanks for watching.